uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building basically a google books viewer kind of an application inside your browser you can read books inside the browser using isbn number this is the application you can see that basically we are using google books embedder api inside the browser and this is the application here you need to input the isbn number of every book so if you go to this uh, website guys IS isbn search isbn basically it's a number here which is printed on every book on the back of the book so if you find a book here let's suppose i search for javascript book click on search you will see a lot of books will be there and each book has its own 13 digit isbn number you just need to copy this and simply paste it inside this application and click on this button start reading and now this book will be loaded here you can see inside the browser itself you don't need to go to any external website to read the book you will be the book will be fetched from the api and basically you can read your book there are various controls out there you can zoom in zoom out you can search for a particular letter also and also you can go to a different page by using these controls out there and also you can get the contents of the book like this so various controls are there guys you can basically use this google books in better api in order to load books based upon your isbn number and then you can view your book like this read the book so basically every book has its own uh, 13 digit isbn number and simply you need to copy this and uh, paste it and you will see if you see uh, if you um, just uh, write an invalid book you will see book not found you need to enter the correct number this is basically a 13 digit number that you can go to this website isbn search and search for your favorite book and you will get your isbn number so in this way you can basically read any book using its isbn number and the book will be displayed in the canvas so we will be building this application guys so all the source code i have given in the description of this video so basically i have written a complete blog post on webninjadeveloper.com the description link is there so just go to it and copy paste all the source code and now for doing this purpose guys it's very simple we will write the code step by step so just make index.html file guys and here we will be writing the title which is google books embedded viewer api example and for all for this guys we will also be using some bootstrap so bootstrap it's needed for this application so you just need to go to bootstrap and copy paste this cdn link here after this guys this is the basically the javascript sdk that we are loading here so this script tag is needed in the description you will find out you can see this is let me paste it here http google.com slash books js api.js so we are loading this uh, google books embedder api so if you just go to google and just type here google books embedder viewer api this is the api that we are using guys so it's part of the google books apis and uh, you can see embedded viewer api so basically uh, just embed google books inside your browser and after this guys we will have a simple canvas element inside the body where we can simply have the you can see we have the canvas element we have given the id to it or viewer canvas and we are giving a fixed width to it of 800 pixel height of 800 pixel and we are using a bootstrap class it will float on the right hand position and margin from the right is three so if you open this you will now see basically it is not seeing here we need to load the book for that and then we will have a simple basically guys uh, a container class inside the body or bootstrap and inside this we will have a simple h1 heading which will have all these classes which will align in the middle position empty 5 margin top from 5 so we will be basically be giving a heading to it of google books api app so if you just uh, open this here you will see here the heading is right there google books api app after this guys we will have a simple form where we can simply enter the isbn number all these classes will be attached bootstrap classes padding 3 and border we will giving 0 
and then we will have a simple card this will be white in color background will be dark bg dark a margin from the bottom position 3 and basically it will float we have the floating class as well floating from the left and also we have the shadow large class as well or bootstrap so all these classes will be there and uh, inside this card structure guys we need to give it a width as well so that we can uh, see on the screen so we will be giving a style attribute max width will be equal to 20 rem so if you just reload the application you will now see a simple card as well it is not displaying here but we need to display it so inside this card guys we need to give it a header we need to give it a title to this card so we will give it a card header class inside this we will have google books api app open this you will now see your card this is a button out there and also we will be writing the card body and inside this we will have the title card title class once again and here we will be simply be saying to the user that to type your ISBN number below number of book so what it will do basically it will add a heading here it will say type your ISBN number of book after this we will have a simple input field guys this will be of type text and basically we will be giving a class to it of form control bootstrap class and placeholder will be enter your ISBN number and then guys we will have a simple button which will have the bootstrap classes which is btn btn primary margin top from 2 and the margin bottom to true and we will simply say start reading the label of the button so if you now basically open this you will now see a button here and an input field out there so here you will enter your ISBN number and uh, after this we will now we can simply write the javascript code guys so we can simply include this file script.js so right here inside your root directory just make a new file script.js so inside this file guys we will be basically be first first of all be getting the references of the button here so we will simply use the document.query selector method here and we have given this class here or button primary here and also we will be getting the ISBN number which the user has written here so again we have given the class to that input field here so we can simply use dot ISBN after getting these references we will be attaching a event listener to the button here so whenever we click this button we need to execute a function which is uh, which will search the book for us and display it inside the browser first of all we also need to load the google books api so we will simply write here google.books.load and inside this you it takes the option called as language so you can default language is english so you can change your language accordingly so this you need to type this two letter two letter digit code for language so english is en so this needs to go in double quotes here so so after this you just need to make this function here which we have initialized here of search book so whenever you click this button this function will execute here so this is the button sorry function search book and inside this function there is just a two lines of code here you need to first of all initialize the google books uh, viewer object here so google books dot default viewer and inside this you need to pass the reference of the canvas element that you have created in the html so you have see inside this html we have given this id viewer canvas so you just need to pass this reference here so we can simply say here document.get element by id viewer canvas so 
Now this viewer is ready. We just need to load this on the browser. So we can simply call a method here, which is viewer dot. This contains a method of load here, and here you just need to pass the ISBN number of the book here. So ISBN, just need to concatenate ISBN dot value, and we'll get the value like this. And after this. you need to also bind a function if the isbn number is not correct in that case we will show a error message to the user that your book is not found so we just need to make this function here which is uh, alert not found and inside this function we just need to write a simple message alert message to the user that book not found so that's it So now this application is complete here. So now if I open this inside the browser and if you just search for the correct ISBN number here, simply copy this number and paste it inside this input field. Click on Start Reading. So you will see that basically this book will be loaded here. So basically it will take some time early on if you load this application for the very first time here let me once again you can see if i entered the invalid book number isbn number it will show in you you this alert message so if you enter the correct isbn number click on start reading you will now see this is the book is displayed here right here you don't need to go to a third party website to re read the book so the book is displayed inside the canvas so all the user controls are there you can zoom in zoom out you can navigate to a any sort of page you just need to enter the page number so this book is in displayed in pdf format so you can go to any content of the book here so you can just change the size of this canvas Let's suppose you want a higher width, so we can change the width here, 1500 pixel height to let's suppose 500. So you can just change the dimensions here. So now you can see it is now displaying in a more readable format here. So this is the application, guys. I have given all the source code in the description of this video, so you can go to the blog post and copy paste all the source code. And I will be seeing you in the next video.